Hello and welcome to Wee Bad Builds, False Prelade here. So today I'm going to do something a little bit differently. Uh, I noticed there's this demo for King of Seas on Steam. It is completely free, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so the the interesting thing about King of Seas is it's a top-down action RPG. Kind of, uh, in a lot of ways, similar to the like dungeon RPGs that we're all familiar with, like PoE or um, Diablo. Uh, except instead of controlling a like, character... Uh, that fights monsters, you control a ship. And instead of leveling up a character and gearing that character with, like, weapons and armor, you're, like, replacing ship sails and, like, hulls and ship cannons and things like that. And there, are, there is a skill tree in the game, uh, I believe. And there's also special abilities, um, like flamethrowers and spells and things like that. And it is set in a time that has some sort of magical, like, fantasy element. So I'm going to hop right in, create a game here. King of Seeds. The story began in the middle of the ocean many years ago, within the crystal clear waters and green archipelagos, where communities of ancient navy sailors traded, surrounded by thousands of cool. dangers. At that time, pirate law was in force on the seven seas. And shamans shaped the world with fierce Sweet. voodoo rituals. I like the idea of like um changed fate forever. Uh like Caribbean voodoo magic as like the magic system for a pirate game. Inflamed the sky for endless days and nights. In the end, the sailors prevailed, decimating the last traces of magic and freeing the sea from the threat of pirates. After the battle, the triumphant navy erected an impenetrable fortress, founding the 800 years old kingdom of the Seven Seas and vowing to maintain the conquered peace forever. Those few pirates who didn't bow to the will of the navy fled to the borders of the kingdom, remaining faithful to their way of life. Today, seated on the throne, the descendant of a long line of rulers carefully guards the peace within the fortress. Long live the king. Long live the kingdom of the Seven Seas. Sweet. Pretty cool so far. All right, getting into the game. The graphics don't look too, too bad. Nothing crazy, but pretty decent. This guy looks so pompous. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. It won't happen again. <laughs> this guy he looks like... What, what is this guy? He looks so seedy. This guy is going to betray me. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it right now. <laughs> this guy is going to betray me. <laughs> I don't like it. What's with the two thumbs up, bro? As your first mate, I can assure you that we will reach our destination in time for tea. Yo, this guy's scheming. Look at his face. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Basic sailing techniques. Eat. All right. So, <laughs> let's see. The controls look like it's like a WASD setup. Um... This is interesting though. So W is not move forward, it's open up a sail, and then S is not backwards, it's close a sail. So it looks like there's no backwards travel. Looks like it's just like you're it's like almost like hitting the throttle, like you're just like opening it up and uh making your ship go faster by hitting W a bunch of times. Cool. Alright. What about fighting here? Alright, Q to change bullets, okay. 
They can damage a hull, crew, or sails. Interesting. I have to start repairs. <laughs> Pay respects once your ship's been destroyed. Release this to shoot with the left cannons. Release this to shoot with the right cannons. Okay. Oh god, I can already see. I'm gonna struggle with this. Uh, use the boatswain skill. Use the specialist skill. Use the first mate skill or use the ship's special weapon. Okay, interesting. Then inventory, map, and pause. Okay, so the, the uh, controls are fairly basic. I guess, yeah, if it's uh, designed to be played on a controller, there's not going to be too many crazy buttons. So let's see what we got here. Captain, you can read the steering instructions in the pause menu anytime you want. Cool, sweet. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, open her up then. Hit, hit W a couple times. Where are we? I don't even see. Oh, I see, I see, I see. All right, so this is our ship. Must open up the map to find the route. All right, we need to turn around. Oh, ahoy! I'm the cartographer of this beautiful map. Let me explain how it works. Well, first the shaper uh, opens up a portal. No, I'm just kidding. And so I guess this is all procedurally generated. Like not every single zone will look like this when you look in. Am I going the right direction? Or have I passed it? Oh no, turn! Yikes, it took some damage there. Wait, okay, hold. <laughs> How do I get out of this rock? Oh my god. What a surprise! I'm honored that the king has sent you to make this very urgent delivery of gunpowder. This guy is such a seedy bastard. Well done, Captain. We can consider our first mission accomplished. We will leave for King's Fortress tomorrow at dawn. The music in this game is pretty cool, actually. Oh, are we getting the voodoo? The voodoo magic. The king is dead. A voodoo circle. <laughs> Tokyo Drift, baby! Spun him out. Look at that. He's literally spun out. Can you spin out a ship? What? Don't tell me we're getting blamed for this king's death. Here's this guy's face. What are you talking about? Oh my god! Rest in peace to my ship. I knew this guy was going to betray me. Look at his face. He's got betrayal eyes. Some people have bedroom eyes and he is Royal Navy First Mate Charles has betrayal eyes. Oh, <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. All right, so I, w I was like a dude who had some sort of importance in the Navy, and now I am but a boot-looking pirate ready to start my pirateering journey. Healing ointments, yo! I'll take it. Give me that ointment. Three files of the ship boys mustache. <laughs> oh, gross, dude. I've had better days. Ship is gone. This is a cool little pirate uh, village, though. 
All castaways, regardless of flag, must be rescued. Ah, he knows my dad. Hello? My Turbonoculars 3000! Oh no, what a coincidence. In the tutorial, all of the other ship captains are busy. Alright, let's see what this hunk of junk can do. I get myself a sloop. Alright, cool. Alright, I might I might be driving a sloop, but I ain't no sloop. Let's do it. Alright, I'm coming in hot. Oh, I missed paper shot! <laughs> Trash! Oh wait, let's switch these, uh... Hold on. Okay, so this is like a scatter shot. This is cannon, and this... Wait. Oh, he just got destroyed by the cannons. Alright, well. Successful maneuvering. Unbelievable. Worked for a carpenter of the merchant company not long ago. Port is near. The job is to deliver a load of wood. Oh, baby. I'll deliver some wood. My ship flies a pirate flag when I be in danger. Merchant comp company tolerates pirates unlike the Royal Navy. Okay. As long as they're peaceful. I don't know how likely that is to happen. <laughs> Find some ships to shoot down, I'm sure. Alright, um... Okay, it looks like they healed us back to full health, though. That's good. They ran into stuff earlier. Alright, so this is our inventory. Let's take a look. What do we got in here? So we've got... Uh, some sails, a quarter deck, figurehead, cargo, cannons, bullets. I don't have anything in my inventory right now, which makes sense. I haven't bought anything, really. Let's take a look at the map. And, uh... Oh, on this map. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy! What the heck? I've never seen you around here. I'm the carpenter and my job is to polish and refurbish your ships and treat them as they deserve. This guy, look what is this? Caroline, Kate, and Marianne. This guy, uh, can't can't make up his mind. I say, come visit me if you want new equipment. Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's go to change ship. Uh, oh, this is like if I want to buy a new ship. How much gold do I've got? Twenty five hundred. All right, so I'm poor. I'm poor, because these are all 30,000. 55,000! Okay, so I can't... I can't afford any of that. What about the shop, though? Swampy quarter deck. Looks like this is, like, the same as what I already have. Or, no. This is... Wait, 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 no. This is... This is a little bit nicer than what I have. For 10 gold, I'll take it. Oh... Lethal cannons, don't mind if I do. What's the difference in these here? Plus eight. Cannons, Corsair cannons. Alright, let's get this. This one looks pretty nice. This is like a rare item or something. Oh, you can get better crew too. Nice. Yeah, let's get rid of this swampy crew. Who wants a swampy crew? Side and crew seems so much more deadly. What was I supposed to be buying here? Wood. Right. I hope I didn't just spend all my money and I can't afford wood now. I have to sell something back. Uh, Repair kits, eggs, rum, candy. There we go, wood. It was 10, right? What are 90? Yeah, just squeaking in. Na 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 na. <laughs> it's like the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean song. Na 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 da 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 da
Is this a shipwreck? Can I just loot this? Oh, oh. Did I get any loot? Oh. Nice. Pelican eggs. Whale bullets? Okay, let's check out these whale bullets. Here we go. Swampy bullets. Hull damage, 5. Whale bullets, level 3. This has negative 15, though. I think that, how, is this actually worse than what I have? How is that even possible? Okay, well. Alright, I'll just sell this. <laughs> I've got a delivery of wood. Excellent! You can't imagine how long I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, is it time to go fight some ships? Goods can be an excellent source of income. Okay. So there's like some trading aspects to this game, nice. A flamethrower, nice. Damn, we get that flamethrower in the tutorial? Flame tide is a useful skill. All right, let's take a look. Check our inventory here. Oh. Oh, an escort quest. Nice. Maybe I'll have a chance to use my flamethrower. All right, voodoo artifacts. Escorting voodoo artifacts. Sweet. All right, let's take a look at our inventory here and see if we can find where this flamethrower equips. These marsh cannons I picked up are slightly better than the other cannons I was using. Wait. Alright. Here we go. Flames emerge from the bow of the ship. The bow, that's the front, right? Causing damage per second to sails, crew, and hulls of any enemy ships that are hit. 61 DPS, 3 second duration, 22 second cooldown. That's actually a pretty big cooldown. Let's use it like one time to see like... Where's my shit? Oh jeez, that's the wrong button. Okay, I'm just like lighting up my own shit. <laughs> oh no! Alright. Uh... Oh, that's the one I was supposed to be protecting. Jeez. Boss already? Come on, buddy, you got it. I trust. That look at this one of them seagulls. I feel like I'm right back in Ray class, baby, right on the beach. Um, help our brother out here. Alright, fucked it. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna leave that alone. <laughs> I don't really want to fight a level eight ship. Oh, I passed it though. Gotta turn around. Do a quick turn around here. I don't even really. Oops. I not kill this ship at all, or what? Alright, well, we almost got it, baby. Hey! Oh, damn! No, bro! I didn't get the loot! Oh my 
my god. We killed the level 8 ship, but I didn't get the loot. I have to start re-escorting this guy again? Please tell me not. No, dude! Oh my god. I should have just kept sailing. I didn't even get the loot, not worth. My god, ghost ship? The heck? Get me out of here, dude! Ah! Why are they level 10, dude? Okay. Come on. Let's see if I can help a brother out here. Okay, that's a good start. Ooh. Uh. Where did they go? They just disappeared? Oh, dude! These ghost ships are OP! I thought they, like, left. Oh, my God. I can't even really hit this guy without hitting my own ship I'm protecting here. I think I got it, though. That wasn't the best. Alright, let's do a little scatter shot here. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting donked. Okay, maybe I just have to like run up to one of these ships and just use this flamethrower. Do it. Oh. This other ship just like not even <laughs> helping me to. I, I got this feeling like I'm not supposed to fight these guys. I'm supposed to just run. But I can't. I just can't help myself. Like what kind of loot? I almost got them, man. What kind of loot they got though? That's what I want to know. Can I uh, use this? this can I just, like, sail around this rock? Dude, it's getting so close to me being able to kill the- Oh, dude, one more hit and I'm dead, though. This isn't cool. Damn! Man, if only this other ship actually did some work. I almost took on two fucking level 10 ships. Oh my god. Alright, uh, we're just gonna run next time we see that. I don't think that that's a winnable fight. Hey! Heck yeah! All right, well, well, yeah, we got some. Got a level up, and I got some thick stock of what we got here. We got Cobra Quarter Deck. That sounds pretty. Nice. Extra hull strength. Nice! We're gonna raid some ships. Should probably repair my ship before that, but... The merchant companies are ally only for convenience. I suggest you check the map. The ports to find the settlements. Their ships are leaving. Just be careful of one thing. If you attack the ships near their ports, they'll attack you back. Alright, so... I gotta hunt down some merchant ships, but I can only do it in open water because if I'm near any of these ports, they'll actually donk me. What happens at open sea stays at open sea. 
Yeah, there's like a tavern. I, I bet you can pick up these things at the tavern. Let's uh, go to the carpenter first, though. This guy. And uh, repair our ship first. Nice. Haunted ship. That sounds sick. Tentacle slam? Oh, we can just not afford that. Wait. If I go to the market, can I just sell some junk? What do we got here? <laughs> Pelican eggs? I don't care about. Let's just sell them all. What do we got? Those. Some roots. Oh, I can click uh, the tentacle slam. Slam ships in range. I see, I see. Oh, it's got a big range on it, actually. Alright. Alright, let's head out. Let's head out on the open sea. So we're sinking merchant company ships. And it said, look for the ports. I don't, I don't only really see a whole lot. Uh, I think the north, uh, the northeast side here was where that merchant company was. So let's just head back that way, and we'll just see if we hit any ships along the way. Got uh, some decent loot now, so try to try to avoid the ghost ships. Pretty rough. Oh no! Oh yeah, I have that. Oh, dude, that thing is gross. Oh, treasure ship. Alright, that one's next. Nice. Hit the sails. Oh, man. There's a lot of ships here. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, the misses. <laughs> Alright, my uh, ship's getting pretty weak. There we go. Oh my god, my ship is like dead. Get me out of here. Tentacle thing is OP. I don't even have to aim it. It just hits the ship. I can just outrun the ship and just keep using it. <laughs> just keep on sailing. Oh, actually, this might be the, the way to utilize this. Uh... Oh, I have to have vision of it, I guess. I can't just... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. Run! <laughs> just aggroed a third ship. Okay. We got this, though. We got this. Actually, interestingly enough, if I fire in the front here, he can't... Oh, wait. These things will hit me. Got the tourist ship uh, skin on. So now we're disguised. They'll never see it coming. for the fact we have a pirate flag. Ah! Wait. I just find. I found another... Wait, what? Oh, coming in for the kill now. There it is. Place where cartographers scan the world's borders. Enter the weather station. Oh, this guy again. Buy a map. Thousand gold! What did I just buy? Oh my god. Why did I click that? Oh, thousand gold. Oh my gosh, is this what I just bought? My gosh. Man. Unfortunate purchase. Buyer's remorse. 
Oh my god. Look at the rewards for this. Governor Charles reward anyone who will clear the seas from the Royal Navy troop ships. Well, let's let's do it, man. I see. Okay, so I can turn Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Turn this on. Yeah, this doesn't give me any loot. This gives me fat loot, dude. Yo! Is volcano just going off right now? Am I gonna get rock and rolled? Uh... Is there like... Oh, I forgot to even look at the talent system. Oh, here we go. This is the talents page. Lucky, you'll find all sorts of talents here. The available points are shown at the bottom left corner. Some talents can be upgraded up to five times. Nice. Oh, it looks like I don't have any points left. Level nine. Or maybe it's just because it's the demo. Navigation, battle, or voodoo. Ah, so you kind of spec into, like, your ship's damage, like, from, like, the attacks or, like, the skills. That was a close one. Oh! This thing is so good. What the heck? Oh, I need that haul, dude. Alright, let's sell some of this stuff. Oh, these sales are nicer than what I'm using right now. Hey. Oh, I only got seven minutes left on this uh, demo. Let's kick some ass. Let's see if we can find one of these ships. I, I haven't even seen one. Oh, this ship looks sick, dude. Oh, a ghost ship. My last five minutes of gameplay. All right, can I sink this ghost ship? It's gonna be two like last time. That was pretty rude. Oh my god. Good start. Alright, I'm coming for you. Oh no, the wrong side, drip. That was like a crit or something. Damn, it just phases in and out of reality. I missed. Um. Oh, I did it, baby! The ghost ship is no more! Alright, this thing better drop some loot because 
<clears throat> Actually, OP. Oh! Oh, baby. Oh, my God. He... he. Cursed deck. Cursed bullets. Yo. Oh, <laughs> rocking and rolling. Take a look at this ship. Oh, yeah. All right. So that pretty much concluded uh, the demo. Sailed around for a couple more minutes before the uh, game ended, but not really much else happened after. The, the demo is limited to a certain amount of time. So let's talk about uh, some of the pros and cons of the game. Let's start off with uh, the pros. So <laughs> I actually had a lot of fun playing this game. The uh, I got to kill that ghost ship at the end, finally got my revenge, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, the loot system is really interesting. Um, th like There's different skills depending on like what types of ships you have, like if you have a brig or if you have a sloop or... Um, you know, whatever type of ship. And then even, there's also, like, different, um, like, crew abilities and, and whatnot. It seems like as you were, would level up in the game, you would get access to more of these, and the game would become more and more interesting. Um, so the, the combat is actually really interesting. It's kind of takes a while to get used to. I definitely fired from, like, the wrong side of the ship many times. Because on the keyboard, it's, like, the arrow keys. And you want to fire, like, left, but then... If your if your ship's facing down, then if you hit the left, you're gonna fire right because that's you know it's gonna come from the left side of the ship. So that's uh, something that def definitely takes a little getting used to. And uh, I think I said this earlier, but this game is rated for like uh, controller support. So it, if I had a controller, it probably would have been a little bit smoother. So combat, I, I'd give it a, a a good thumbs up for combat. Uh, graphics are pretty good. Now the graphics might be um, better. Like once uh, the launch actually comes out, and they go through some like texture updates and whatnot. Um, the text, like the textures, are pretty good. Um, the only downside is that, like, I looked into the uh, settings, and there was no ability for me to upgrade it any further. So this is as, basically as good as it gets. Um, yeah, so graphics are, were pretty decent. I, I didn't find any issues there. Uh, sound was really good. I, I love the music. <laughs> I, I'll sing it along. It kind of reminded me of the Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, uh, another really big plus for me was that there were like no bugs. I didn't encounter any bugs in the demo. Now this might change once you get further into the game. Things get more complex, systems overlap and whatnot. There might be some bugs, but and as far as I could see, I, I didn't encounter any bugs. Which, like honestly, these days with like the state of um, games like releasing an alpha and not really being polished, I think this game is really polished for uh, its release, which is great. Good to see. Um, all right, so cons. I think like one of the things is like the ship control is a little bit janky. Like the opening up of the sails and closing of the sails and trying to turn, and it kind of gets a little bit awkward. I think this might th this problem might actually um, solve itself. Like the later you go on the game, and the better uh, sails and whatnot you get, you ha might have better ship control. It might just be a f fact of like me just having a terrible ship at the beginning of the game, but definitely awkward in combat sometimes. Uh, but you know what? Maybe that's just uh, the way they intended it, because that's how it would be in real life if you were to try to uh, sail a ship. Um, and then, yeah, I, I didn't really see too many other cons, honestly. I thought that the dialogue was really good. Um, the artwork was pretty funny. <laughs> I was laughing at like the the drawings. Looked uh, like the, it's uh, it's cartoony, but like there's like a humor involved in it as well, right? So that was pretty good. Um, and then, so I guess that comes down to, is this game worth it in the end? So the price is like 20-something bucks. Um, yeah, I, I think that this is, uh, at, at its current state, um, it might be worth that. It's hard to say from the demo because, uh, obviously you can't, you can't finish the game, you can't see how long the game goes, but it's procedurally generated, so I, I assume that there'll be like a decent amount of replay replayability just because of that alone. Um, and I think this game is kind of one of those things, like, it is what you make it. Like, if you want to go on and, and fight harder things, you can seek them out. And if you want to follow the storyline, then you can do that as well. There's seems like there's enough side quests and whatnot to keep you going. So, yeah, for 20-something bucks, I think it's definitely worth it. If it goes on sale, it'll be 100% worth it. I think this game comes out in a couple of days. It comes out on the 25th, I believe. And, yeah, I might pick this up when it comes out. 
it was uh, really good. So if you guys liked the um, if you liked the, the demo review uh, and the active commentary style, hit like, hit subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.